Right, right from the start of the women's game, there was energy in this place. And it was, uh, it was really nice to see the community come out and people of Houghton, Hancock, in the whole area come out and, and support both teams. And really happy because I thought they saw some really good basketball today. I was really, really proud of the guys of how we, you know, hung in there. They, they'd made a run and, and went ahead and we came right back and tied it. And I, I thought the guys executed the game plan to a T. That's a very good club. It's a very good club to, to try to keep uh, Van Tuberge and Ferguson in check. And they, one had 29, I believe, and one had 23. And I thought we did a great job. And I, most, most people wouldn't say that, but, but, I, but I believe going into it that we weren't gonna, you can't stop a quality, quality players like that, but if you make them earn it, that's a different situation. I thought, I thought that our guys really played hard and, 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 uh, and was very deserving of this win. They rallied uh, much like they did at their place, but this time yeah. able to shut them down, stop them, keep them from getting too close to the seven. We reminded of them. We reminded that we were in the same situation down there, and there was way too much time, and, and, and they were going to try to you know, step it up, and they did, and they made a lot of threes. Uh, we, we did make most of our free throws down the stretch, and you know, I thought our guys executed well, and I thought, I thought we did a nice job defending between the zone and the, and the man to man. Tom Monroe, 41, Dawson Bilski. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought a very solid game too for you. Yeah, I thought both those guys were outstanding. Actually, actually, I thought you know between those two guys being really solid on, uh, both on, on both ends of the floor, I thought Isaac Appleby did a great job executing our stuff and keeping us within ourselves. And I, I actually thought Ryan Schuler played a heck of a second half. And you know, uh, Trent did an exceptional job the time he was on Van Tuberjen. And you know, you need those team efforts. And I thought you know everybody had a hand in this because. We, we did have a good practice yesterday with you know, our second group uh, running the Grand Valley stuff. And I, you know, you, you just, they never get credit for that. And I think credit, we had just had a great credit goes to that second group a lot. And we had, they had great energy for, for the seniors today. And I, I, I really appreciate that because it's special when you can win on senior day. Coach, uh, Northern Michigan on the road Thursday, you've already clinched a a home playoff game, but still lots to play for in that final regular season game. One in the tournament. Yeah, you know, we got to, you know, their Northern's obviously our rival, and you know, they're playing to probably get into the tournament, and we're, you know, we're playing for our for for everything that we have to play for, which is a lot. You know, uh, the biggest thing was, you know, Northern beat us in our own gym. You know, we got you got to take. You, we're going on the road. It'll be it'll be a good good tough game. Uh, because it's a rival game, because it's a GLIAC game, you know, we're not, you know, they're not going to expect us to roll over, and we're not expecting them to roll over. So it'll be a tough game. Uh, but again, looking looking forward to it. You know, you win two at home, you got you have a lot of confidence, and I, you know, it'll it'll be a, it'll be a fun game. Yeah, that was. I mean, that was such a fun game we just had out there. The crowd was great. I mean, can't ask for a better way to go out on senior night. We just really executed our stuff well today, and. Hardly had any turnovers tonight, and I th really think that was the big difference maker for us. Got a good run in the second half, and similar to what they did, they came back, but this time you guys were able to hold them off. What was the key to that? I think you know they're just going to be clawing and fighting the whole time. Uh, this time we were able to kind of get a little bit bigger lead in the earlier second half, and like you said, we knew they'd make a run. They did, and credit to our guys for stepping up, hitting free throws. I mean, oh, it, was, it was just a fun game. Uh, number 14, uh, he was pretty quiet until kind of the end of the game. What did you guys do against him? I mean, he's, he's just a lightning quick player. I think we really tried hard to make him shoot it outside over getting it to the rim. And late in the game, I think there are a couple times where he got by us, which, I mean, that's going to happen. And then he hit a couple deeper threes at the end there. But I think overall, if we can execute our defensive systems like that, we're going to be a tough team to beat come tournament time. Northern Michigan rivalry on Thursday now. Uh, yeah, for, for me, hopefully that's going to be the last one. Uh, I mean, this game had just a, such an excitement feeling. I'm hoping that we can bring that same energy down to Marquette on Thursday. It was just a whole team collective effort. I mean, 1 through 15, the guys on the bench, starters, everybody, all the coaching staff, the whole community came together, and we got it done today. Uh, Ryan, a uh, big crowd, obviously, you mentioned that. And do you get to really feed off of that energy? Oh, we totally feed off of it. It gives us even that little extra boost to, to give it our all, diving on, diving for the loose balls and getting the dunk and hitting big shots. It just amplifies everything by 100. 
Um, talk about, I guess, uh, your defense, how you slowed them down, and what stood their run there in that second half. Oh, uh, yeah, we really focused in on defense, especially this time down there. Uh, we couldn't get some stops in a crucial time, but this time it was uh, different, and it, we came out on top. Uh, it was just a tremendous effort collectively from our team from start to finish. We knew it was going to be a battle all the way to the end. Um, and every guy, 1 through 15, was engaged, and we had a great crowd, and you know, we produced for them. So it was an awesome win for us. I know back at their place, they kind of made a run there towards the end of the basketball game. Um, talked to Kyle a little bit about it. But what was, what, in your mind, what was the key from – from observing what you guys were able to, do to keep them from coming all the way back. Right, you know, you know, we were just trying to live in, you know, their easy buckets. You know, a lot of times they go downhill and they get some and ones. And um, in the second half, especially late, we were able to maintain them and make them force shots over us, and it was awesome. Uh, you know, our guards did a really good job of keeping 14 in front of them, and we made Van Tuberen make some tough shots over the top of us. Big crowd today. What was it like? You know, it was a fantastic crowd. I mean, that's what you expect um, here at Michigan Tech, especially in the Wood Gym, especially on senior day. Um, it was fantastic. I know our, our guys fed off of it, um, you know, and we, so we got to give a lot of credit to our community for coming out and showing up for us.